The Indian aerospace sector is gaining international attention. Recently, Indian helicopter fighter jets demonstrated incredible performance at various air shows, demonstrating the strength of the aircraft's manufacturing and supply. With the introduction of the Indian multi-role helicopter HAL will expand its helicopter product offerings from 3-ton to 13-ton weight class, as well as address India's requirement to replace the aging MI-17 helicopters, which are due for replacement progressively beginning in 2028. HAL intends to target the global helicopter market by benchmarking the proposed IMRH against its current helicopters, which include the Mi-17, S-92, a W-101, an H-90, an EC-725. The Rotary Wing Research and Development Center played an important role in the Indian aerospace sector. The HAL journey of building helicopters began in 1965 with the introduction of the Chetak, and by 1970, with the support of France Aerospatiale as a licensee, the Cheetah helicopter was built. Further, in 2002, it introduced the ALH Drew, and in 2013, it introduced the ALH Rudra, and in 2017, it launched the light combat helicopter, and in 2019, it launched the light utility helicopter, and now it is planning to build the 13-ton weighing multi-role helicopter, which is set to replace the Air Force's MI-17. HAL's Rotary Wings Design and Research Center in Bangalore designed and developed this helicopter. In the beginning, three prototypes will be created. Certifications are expected seven years after the project is sanctioned. HAL has already constructed a mechanism system, an airframe, blades, and a slew of other component design 3D parts. It is a utility and armed variant designed for unrivaled performance at high altitude for the Indian Air Force and Army. The planned helicopter will have a maximum takeoff weight of 13 tons, a five-bladed main rotor, and a four-bladed tail rotor. The navalized version will also have a longer range and a greater payload capacity. HAL estimates that over 314 rotocraft of the same class will be required to replace the existing Mil Mi-17 helicopters in service in India. The ISA plus 15 degrees centigrade conditions. We have a composite uh, rotor system. Transmission is 100% uh, HAL design. The engines, of course, will be from uh, foreign OEMs. We have two OEMs uh, with whom we are discussing. And the uh, airframe is primarily made of uh, composites with uh, main frames being metallic. The landing gear is again HAL design. The helicopter is expected to have a maximum takeoff weight up to 14.2 tons and will have 24 to 36 crews on board in various configurations. The helicopter will have a five-bladed main rotor with a diameter of 21.2 meters and a four-blade tail rotor. MRH will have 75% domestic content but will use an imported 2000 kW turboshaft engine. Payload capacity at sea level will be 4 tons and 1.5 ton at a height of 13,000 feet. Aircraft will have pair of weapons wings which will provide four hard points for up to 1,600 kg of armaments. Two inboard for 500 kg loading capacity and two outboard for 300 kg loading capacity. It has a top speed of 260 km per hour. At sea level, it has a payload capacity of 4,000 kilograms. It's a crashworthy landing gear meeting international crashworthiness standards. We have a smart cockpit with a large area displays. And the airframe is uh, designed in a modular fashion. This is one area where we are looking forward to private sector participation in uh, making the airframe for the IMRH. These are some details of the transmission system design. As you can see, we have gone quite well ahead in the design. Uh, these are just not graphics, but these are actually 
the correct gear ratios etc which have been decided we also provided for folding of the blades although it is not there in uh, in our uh, requirements from the army and air force side but still for uh, parking efficiently in the underground hangars etc we are providing a folding facility the other systems in the aircraft like hydraulic systems flight control systems all of these layouts we have completed and in most cases we know who are the potential vendors for all the lrus that are required the flight control system The aircraft has completed the preliminary design phase and is expected to be approved for further development in early 2022. The first flight is scheduled for four years after the development project began, with the introduction scheduled for 2028. The HAL is currently releasing a global tender for the component requirements for the new multipurpose helicopter. Keeping in mind that the government encourages and invites local suppliers to take on the design and construction of HAL components. HAL has already constructed the rotor system's component mechanism. It has undergone virtual stress analysis with the aid of software, and it has a transmission system or gearbox that weighs one ton and is built in bulk using die casting techniques. HAL is looking for a special engine for the helicopter that can generate 2,000 kilowatts of power. As a result, once the project begins, the design suitability in the airframe will be updated to OEM during the prototypes. Typically, few medium helicopters do not have retractable landing gear built into the airframe, but the HAL already has retractable and non-retractable tricycle landing gears. It is tricycle has fixed crashworthy wheel landing gear, passive steering, and a nose wheel lock, as well as a hydraulic wheel brake with a parking brake. It has two electric power generators and an auxiliary power unit that can restart the power supply in the event of an emergency. Even HAL claims that the battery will provide backup power for the helicopter's other functions during the 30-minute flight during emergency, taking into account the ministry's approval of the project. The first flight is expected to take place within four years, and the operation clearances will be in six years. If the project begins in 2022, HAL will likely phase out legacy MLH by 2029. Furthermore, this helicopter can be used for a variety of purposes, including cargo transport, ground vehicle transport, VIP transport, and many others. Once this helicopter is inducted, HAL will become a major aerospace market key player in the Asia region, building helicopters ranging in size from 3 to 13 tons. This will be another victory for the Indian aviation industry. India is already developing its own light and medium fighter jets with 5.5 generation features, as well as commercial aircraft Dorney A228 and an associated with Airbus building C295. What do you think of India's new multi-role helicopter? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. Please subscribe if you are new to our channel. If you liked our video please subscribe to our channel.